We're in the dog days of summer, which means the Johnson grass is tall and full. And Alex, why is Johnson grass so hard to kill? Well, I can show to you why it's so hard to kill. See, that's the secret of Johnson grass. Johnson grass has rhizomes. Other grasses may not have this structure. And what this is, is a reserve organ that stay uh, underground in the soil. And what happens is all the time that you spray something or you mow or you graze, what's going to happen is the plants are going to come up back from new shoots, as you can see here, bringing it up again, more stems and leaves. So that's why it's so hard to kill. You kill and it will come back because it has the energy down there. So when it comes to management, obviously there's a lot of different options that producers have to choose from. Let's kind of talk about some of those. Okay, uh, I would start with uh, grazing as uh, management to control Johnson grass. You, it's, it's pretty common when you see a kind of a pasture that is being intensively grazed where there is no Johnson grass, but you look just over the fence and there are some Johnson grass. That happens because if you keep the cattle there all the time, this is an ice cream plant. The cattle you love to graze Johnson grass. So what happens is, as soon as come new shoots, the animal is gonna come and graze them. And so we start to starve the rhizomes and the plants will disappear over time. So the second option would be mowing. If you constantly keep mowing, when the, the, we see that the new leaves come and you keep mowing, you are gonna be doing the same, starving the rhizomes but mowing might be expensive also. So that's where we can go with some chemical uh, and control by applying some herbicides. There are different herbicides labeled to control Johnson grass. However, uh, we know that glyphosate is a very, uh, I would say, economical way to control, but also can harm, for instance, the Bermuda grass, the other warm season uh, desirable fodders that we have there. So that's where I think that weakening Johnson grass with glyphosate is a very good and viable option. So let's talk about that. What, what exactly is wicking? Well, wicking, I would say that's a selective way uh, to control a specific weed. Uh, for instance, as I mentioned, uh, as you can see here, we have the Bermuda grass and also you have the Johnson grass. If you come here and you spray uh, the, the, the herbicide, in this case glyphosate, you harm our Bermuda grass as well and you don't want that. So it, there is a method that by a sponge or a robe where we are going to be just delivering that uh, chemical, the herbicide, is specific to the Johnson grass. That's what wicking uh, in simple words is. Alright, thanks Alex. For more information on controlling Johnson grass using herbicides, here's our extension weed specialist Misa Manicheri. Yeah, so there's a number of herbicides that we can apply post-emergence um, in Bermuda grass to control Johnson grass. One of the more effective products is glyphosate. However, it also can injure the Bermuda, so we're always trying to balance weed control with not injuring our target crop um, or plant. So one thing that we can do to minimize the injury with Bermuda but still have that effective glyphosate is to wick it on. So it's a, it's a very manual process. There's all different kinds of applicators. Uh, folks make their own. They can purchase them. Um, usually you see a, a rope or some kind of sponge and basically you fill up a tube. It's usually made of PVC pipe with your solution. Um, those rates start at a third glyphosate to water, so a 33% solution. And you mix it up in that tube, and you let those wicks get concentrated, and you touch the plants. Glyphosate moves in living tissue, and so once we have contact, we get absorption and movement. So one thing, um, once you have your solution and it's not dripping from your wicks or your sponge. If you don't have ground that's really uniform, you want to have a good concentration that is just going on to plants, not dripping all over your field. And then another thing to take into consider consideration is pass direction. So a lot of research has um, documented that more than one pass will actually increase efficacy, which makes sense. We wipe one way. Sometimes we might kind of want to offset and go diagonally or the opposite direction so that we get good contact. And for more information on um, 
detailed herbicide management practices for Johnson Grass Control and wicking, go to sunup.okstate.edu.